Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. This is your big homie, Jared. You're rocking with the Retro Insider YouTube channel. As always, thank you for checking out today's content. And big special shout out must go to all of you new and returning visitors. Now, if you are new, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of these unboxings, especially a lot of New Balance. So if you're into that type of thing, I think you'll enjoy what the channel brings. Now, all of you, take a couple seconds right now to go ahead and like the video so other people who may be interested will get a chance to see it. Now, of course, let's get right into the unboxing. And as you can see, this is a little bit different than what we used to seeing on the channel. Most times it's a New Balance gray USA made box, but this is one of the older New Balance models. So if you checked out the last video, I told you we had one coming and this is it right here. Let's see what it is. And here we have it. We have the M998CM in a size 12, my size. Now, if you are new to the channel, you probably don't know. Uh, this is my favorite New Balance model, the M998, for many reasons. And I'll get into some of those later in the video. But first, let's get a look around the shoe. All right, fam, so here it is, a little change in scenery. Had to come outside, it feels too good. So uh, anyways, here we have it, the M998CM in all of its glory. And as I stated in the intro, shoe released back in January 2018. So over two years old with this shoe, but I was fortunate enough to be able to get a dead stock pair in my size. And uh, more on that later, I'll let you know exactly where you could potentially get that shoe. And uh, retailed for probably around 180 bucks, I'm not for certain, but I was able to pay 96 bucks ship. So a great deal for a made in the USA model. Now as far as the made, as far as the made in the US models, you know the, the suede is just on point. So as you can see here, this shoe is entirely made of suede with little hits of leather in 3M. But as you can see it, I mean, just the detail on that, that suede, the, the back and forth motion is just crazy on these, which is nothing new to New Balance. But if you are new to the brand, um, that's second to none as far as the quality of the materials. You're not going to find a shoe on the market at this price point that has the suede that this shoe has. So, uh, yeah, as I also stated, we have the hits of 3M also here at the base of the laces. It looks like it there, but that's not 3M. And we also have it on this back heel portion of the shoe. Now, other materials also include leather, uh, which is the underlay of the in New Balance N. First pair that I've had that has leather on the uh, end, and it's a very soft leather, I might add. So, uh, great mix of materials on this shoe. And, uh, of course, the other thing that stands out on this shoe is the color. Now, I'm not sure what you would call it, but uh, I put a poll up on the Instagram stories. And somebody said plum and I was like, you know what? That's the perfect color for this. Uh, it's not purple, even though it might seem like purple. I have a pair of purple pair of purple shoes rather say that five times fast. But yeah, you can see the difference in shade. Now that's purple. Now these are the 990 V4 EP fours. And this right here is entirely different. So hopefully you can see that the difference in the color. And I had to come outside as well, just so I can get a good uh rendering of the color because if i did it inside under some lights sometimes it doesn't come out right so a great great shoe as far as the materials construction is on point all the stitching is top notch nice colored laces and we also had this new balance made in the usa on the tongue so all of this is super dope now moving on as far as the midsole of course we have the absorb midsole which is uh what you find on every new balance 998 now, comparing this to some modern midsoles, it's not going to be as bouncy as maybe a React or a Boost or Vapor Max, but still comfortable and extremely solid long term. So that is the advantage that it has over any other shoe from my experience. I've owned a pair since 2013 that I still wear. It's a beater now, but I can tell you being a bigger guy and putting a lot of stress on my shoes, the midsole just gets better with time. It doesn't just break down. And that's rare to find in a shoe these days. So if you've never had an Absorb midsole shoe, understand it is comfortable. Might not be as soft 
as you might be used to from other uh, midsoles, but it's still a great technology. Another aspect of design is this midsole uh, color hit right here. Now, some of the new uh, 998s aren't, aren't adding this, but I really, really like this little added hit of color. Just adds to the visual interest of the shoe. I wish they would continue to do this on a lot more of the modern models. But, I mean, hey, I don't know why they did it stop, but they need to bring it back. So, New Balance, if you did listen to this, or if you are listening to this, bring that midsole color hit back. We need that. That's just a staple for the model, in my opinion. But, um, as far as sizing, now, some of my older 998s used to seem big, but a lot of the newer models are kind of like true to size. So, I can still recommend you go to the true to size, but... Um, some of you might find that half down half size might fit better for you simply because the uh, The toe box is a little bit wider than some of the other brands you might be used to like Nike and Adidas So because of that reason you might feel like it's too big, but uh, Yeah, if you are interested in getting a pair of New Balance for the first time I do have a complete sizing guide on the retroinsider.com that you can check out what I have more suggestions based on, you know, my experience. Like I said, I've had almost a dozen pairs ever since like 2013. So I know what the older models feel like. And I feel like some of the newer models are kind of more true to size. So, yeah, man, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about the New Balance M998CM. Is it something that you like? Is it something that you want to get? And, uh, yeah, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Now, as far as where I was able to get it, Check this, Walmart.com. <laughs> Walmart.com had this available. Now, if you know anything about Walmart, they're trying to drive to compete with Amazon. So their platform is more or less becoming an Amazon type platform. So they allow third party mar merchants to post some of their stock and products on the site to take advantage of their reach, of course, their brand recognition. So I was able to buy this from uh, a third party merchant that I had already purchased from before, but not on Amazon. So the experience is pretty good. The box did come a little damaged, but other than that, it's a great place to maybe find some of these older models, a lot of discontinued styles on there. So check it out. I think they had a couple sizes left. Um, they might cost you a little bit more than what I paid. Look like other sizes cost a little bit more, but still around the same price and still a great deal in my opinion. So um yeah thank you guys for checking out the content as always please 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 continue to support i appreciate all the love in the comments that's being shown as of late you know i'm going to continue to do this for you guys on a consistent basis because that's how we doing it here at the retro insider but anyways thank you so much for checking out the video until next time take care stay humble and proceed